I'm going to show you my 10 VS Code extensions that I use the most in 2021. The first ones are auto close tag and auto rename tag. So I'm going to show them in one go here. Make your life so much easier with auto rename tag and auto complete tag. So if we look here in the extensions, auto close tag, we have this one here, and this will create a closing tag when you create your tag in Visual Studio Code. So you can see here. What it does, they create the HTML and it instantly creates a closing tag. And we have the auto rename tag. It will make it possible for you to rename the tags also. So I can show you this one here. If I, for example, down here, create an HTML tag, boom, it instantly creates a closing tag for us. And if I want to change the name on this one, maybe I want to create a div instead. You can see that it changed it here on both the start tag and the end tag. So that's pretty sweet. I use this a lot. I don't think I could handle this without it. That's the auto close tag and the auto rename tag. Then I use something that's called color highlight. Color highlight. It makes the world so much brighter. It's the extension for you. It's the extension for you. And this is a pretty neat extension that I started to use a little while ago. And to show it in action, I can show you here, it will highlight the colors that you use in your code. So if I, for example, create this color here, you can see that it creates this background with the color here. And I think this is neat because I can instantly see what color I'm using. So if I change this one now to something else, to a green one, you can see that it changes here. So that's pretty, pretty sweet. I love this little extension. So that's the color highlight. And then I have the ESLint. That's the plugin that probably everyone that's using VS Code and code in JavaScript are using. ESLint and prettier, they make it such a breeze. ESLint and prettier, they make you code with ease. So this will provide Visual Studio Code with the ESLint functionality and IntelliSense. I use this in combination with Prettier that I also think most of you use, Prettier. And Prettier is a code formatter, so Prettier will format the code for you and ESLint will check your code for errors. So if, for example, I change something here, you can see that it instantly complains here and this is ESLint kicking in and you can set up different rules for this plugin. Of course, all the ESLint rules that you want. And if I change something here, so it looks kind of crappy in the formatting, something like this, and then I auto format it, this is Prettier that kicks in and format my code. So Prettier will format your code and ESLint will help you when you code and tell you if you do something wrong in your code. Then a lot of people ask me about my theme and that one is called One Mono K uh, 80s. One Mono K 80s theme. That's the theme that I use. One Mono K 80s theme. That's the theme that I use. So it will provide you with these uh, cool retro colors and they are quite subtle. I like them because they're not that bright. So if I look in the index file here in my little application, this application is my course page that I'm working on. I'm currently converting it into Next just for the fun of it. So that's what I'm doing here. So you can see that it has all these colors here that I think is pretty neat. I love these colors and it's actually good for your eyes to work with, I noticed, uh, because they're not that bright, as I said. So that's the theme that I'm using and I'm using it in combination with uh, the Operator Mono font. That's a premium font that will cost some money, but I think there's great free fonts out there you can use also instead of that. Then I have an extension that's called Path Autocomplete. Path Autocomplete, it is awesome. Path Autocomplete, it is awesome. And this one is super handy because it will autocomplete your paths when you import stuff. So for example, if I want to import something up here, import, yeah, test from, and I type in dot dot forward slash, it will provide me with everything I can use 
inside of here. So I have the folder components and then I have a forward slash. I have all my components forward slash and I select the header component. So that's path autocomplete in action. It's really, really great to have this one here. You don't have to remember all the paths in your head. It will provide you with those paths. Then I use something that's called rainbow brackets. Rainbow brackets. It'll give you beautiful colors in your code. And you know that you want it. You want to spice up your code with beautiful colors. So if we check out that extension here, it will create these colored parentheses and brackets for you. And yes, you may think that, oh, this will create a lot of colors and stuff. And it will. So if we look here, for example, you can see that it creates a lot of different colors on the parentheses here. But if we go down in the code, you can see here somewhere, yeah, in this map, for example, I first have this outer parenthesis, and then I have the inner one here for the arrow function. So it's pretty easy to see what parenthesis belongs to what. And that's what I like about this. Uh, it's easy to differ them from each other. And it also works on the curly brackets. This is actually quite handy and it makes the code more readable. So that's the rainbow brackets. And then I have an extension that I actually just started to use and it's called VS Code Counter. If you wanna know how much code you have done, VS Code Counter will help you out. It will help you out. Because I wanted some way to count my code, to see some statistics about my code, and the VS Code Counter will do that for you. So if I go inside of my files here, and I can select any folder or file, for example, I select my components folder, click the right mouse button, and I select count lines in directory. It will give me some statistics on the code that's in that particular folder. And this is super neat, I think, because there's no easy way to do that. Otherwise, you can see here that I have a TypeScript, that I'm using TypeScript, React, and uh, yeah, five files, code, 123 blanks, 26, and total of 149. TypeScript React is going to be the TSX files and TS TypeScript is going to be the TS file. That's going to be the styles for this one. And that leads me into this, the last extension that I'm going to talk about here. And that's because I use React a lot. I have a plugin that's called VS Code Styled Components. Style components is the perfect match for React. So don't code it without VS Code style components. That's the extension for you if you're a React fan like me. That's the extension for you if you're a React fan like me. I always use style components in combination with React. So for example, if we look inside this style file that I have here, this is a style component. So the VS Code style components will provide you with IntelliSense and syntax highlighting for style components. So it's a must if you use style components with React. Otherwise, it wouldn't look this great here and it wouldn't format correctly and stuff like that. So that's a great plugin for React when you use it with style components. All right, so that's my recommendations for 10 extensions to use in 2021 in Visual Studio Code. And these are plugins that I use on a daily basis. If you like this one, please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I see you in another one.